Hello, hi everybody. Myself Ramesh. Today we will talk about very general topic. Uh, most of the if you after completion of your course related to chemical science, if you go to any industries, they will ask you that these kind of techniques like LCMS spectroscopy. So liquid chromatography, mass spectroscopy, uh, the basics and principle we will discuss today slide by slide. LCMS the complete information we will see here uh, today lecture. Okay. You can see here the first one slide, uh, like a brief introduction about the LCMS. So liquid chromatography mass spectroscopy is an one of the analytical chemistry techniques. It is uh, like a combination of like physical separation capabilities of liquid in mass uh, analysis capabilities of mass spectroscopy. LCMS like liquid chromatography and mass spectroscopy is an analytical techniques to involve the physical separation of target compounds. Suppose if you have a many compounds like a mixture of compound, if you suppose particular one compound you need to isolate, then you can go for the LCMS. So target molecules or target compound by their mass based detection. So although the relatively new is sensitivity, selectivity and accuracy have made its techniques of choice for the detection of micrograms and the even the nanogram also it is enough to analyze of your compounds. It is mostly it is used for this analyte range from the drug metabolites, pesticides and food alterations and the natural product extractions. These are you will be discussed in this LCMS. And you can see another one point is here in addition to the liquid chromatography and mass spectroscopy device like uh, LCMS system uh, uh, like uh, contains an interface that uh, efficiently transfer of separate components from the LC column into the MS ion source. So our compound first will go into that LC column then after we will transfer into the mass ion sources. That is the actual principle of a brief interaction, brief principle of LCMS. You can see here the what is the basic principle of LCMS. You can see the LCMS combines the separating a powerful of high performance liquid chromatography with the detection of mass spectroscopy. So high performance liquid chromatography it like uh, liquid chromatography involves the two phases like one is a mobile phase another one is a stationary phase mobile phase means nothing but of like a liquid form like solvents ethanol and acetonitrile others you can use it depending on your compound nature and you can see mass phase like uh, mobile phase liquid like uh, solvent ethanol and uh, next one is the stationary phase like column packed with a very small particles that is a stationary phase when you talk about that uh, LCMS, LCMS contains uh, two phases, one is the mobile phase, second one is the stationary phase. Then after the our compound will move on to the mass spectroscopy, one of the analytical techniques measure the mass to charge ratio, by charged mass to charge ratio and the charged particles. That is the actual principle of LCMS, liquid chromatography and mass spectroscopy. Then you can see some few more points about the LCMS. The interface is necessary because of LC and MS device are the fundamentally incompatible. Okay. While the mobile phase in a liquid system is a pressure liquid and mass analyzer commonly operate under the high vacuum. So this is the like one of the conditions in LCMS. And you can the most extensively applied LCMS interface are based on the atmosphere pressure ionization there is a like uh, uh, categories like uh, or you can see simply the status is like uh, electrospray ionization ESI atmosphere pressure chemical ionization APCI and uh, atmospheric pressure photo ionization APPI this is the kind of the mass spectroscopy techniques depending on your compound and the mass of the your compound your mass of the, your target molecules then you talk about the liquid chromatography is a method of physical separation which is based on the components of the liquid mixtures is distributed between two immersible phase stationary and mobile phase whatever we discussed in the earlier. You can see that uh, uh, liquid chromatography divided into few ca five categories like adsorption chromatography, partition chromatography, ion 
which chromatography size exclusion chromatography and affinity chromatography so this we will discuss in the next slide in brief and mass spectroscopy is analytical techniques to separate the mass to charge ratio and charge particles of ions you can see next one is like what are that uh, meaning what are the definition of partition chromatography partition chromatography is based on that solubility and hydrophobicity of the analytes of or simply you can see what target molecules of the stationary mixtures of uh, compared it to the mobile phase next one is ion exchange chromatography ion exchange chromatography it will be separated based on the ionic charge size exclusion chromatography the name itself you can know the it exploit the different size of the our molecules or our target molecules affinity chromatography is the analyze based on their ability to bind or the simply you can say bond it to the stationary phase these are the actual column chromatography principles which column you are need to use or uh, your compound positions what your compound nature depending on that you can use these kind of chromatography techniques then you can see here actually one image will indicate depending of the molecular weight versus analyte polarity you can see that uh, non polar and uh, polar components you can see that uh, gcms you can up to 10000 you can analyze and apc and particle beams and thermo spray and electro spray you can see up to will go the 1 lakh 1 kd also this is the actual figure to how much mass you can need to analyze of the areas techniques then you can see the actual like a one of the brief image of uh, lcms you can see here nitrogen generator you are using then after the lcms and this is the actual picture of that uh, outlook of the lcms and you can see here the what are the interface how that uh, liquid chromatography is combined to the mass spectroscopy these are the actual principle that is called interface so lcms system is include the device for introducing sample such as the lcms or the hplc interface is connecting with such device the ion source of ion that the ionized samples the electrostatic lens that affinity introduce the generated ions mass analyzer unit that separate the ions based on their mass to charge ratio and the detection unit by the separated ion already we discussed these pre points in previous slides you can see the types of interface already we discussed in the electro sprays in mass spectroscopy and like thermo spray ionization spectro atomic spheric uh, atmospheric uh, pressure chemical ionization atmospheric pressure photo ionization these are the few of the interface techniques in special in mass spectroscopy and you can see here what exactly meaning of the mass spectroscopy nothing but a mass is give the one of the analytical measure to the atomic weight of the sample simply image you can see from there you understood what is principle of mass spectroscopy simple the mass spectroscopy we can measure the weight of the molecules or the atomic compounds of our sample then you can see mass analyzer you can see the mass analyzer also is uh, one of the uh, main um, like topic you need to discuss you can the the they can flank ion down the curved tubes in the magnetic field based on their kinetic energy determined by the mass charge and velocity the magnetic field is a scan to measure different ions types of mass analyzer quarter pole mass filter time of flight ion trap fourier transfer of ion cyclotron resistance these are the some of the mass analyzer you can see this quarter pole mass analyzer you can see that what is the principle of quarter pole mass analyzer and you can see here the time of flight mass analyzer this is also one of the nice the techniques are important to the tof is analyzer separate the ion so based on the time without a use of an electric and magnetic field okay and this is the actual pic of the uh, like image of the lcms you can see here the solvent and that solvent mobile phase and they can see the high performance liquid chromatography then after sample component mixtures you can be mix here then after compound will move to our compound in move to into the column column then after go for the mass this this part is called as the lcms interface of ms ion sources then after moves to quarter pole various the mass analyzer then after we'll go to detection then after the, this is a graph chromatograph of mass spectrum analyzer this is the actual um, image of the 
the by sketch of the LCMS spectroscopy. Then you can see instrumentation of uh, actually what is the instrumentation of LCMS. You can see systems of solvent and pump to go to here make sure the enough detector column and the detector to mass spectrometer. Then you can see what is the when the compound you are moved to from HPLC to the like mass nebulizer then after we will to see the ion source then after to analyze for the quarter pole analyzer then after mass spectroscopy image here. Then you can see this is the another one image to like the previous what we discussed and this is that actual quarter pole like quarter pole 1 and quarter pole 2 mass analyzer image and this is a protein ligand interacts you can see how HPLC comparable data with mass spectroscopy this is the actual the graph of the uh, LCMS spectrum of the result peak how to see analyze and what is the axis in x-axis and y-axis compound then you can see here the time of flight you can you can see the moldy and it's the mass call as the time of flight or the TOF this is one of the mass charge determined by the wire time measurement. Time measurement will be measure the mass of the our compound or the mixture. Then after you can introduction of how this LCM is applicable for the biomolecules. I am discussing especially about the protein. So you can see that what is protein and what is a proteomic studies in how applicable in the LCMS. You can see the proteomic indicates the total protein expressed by the genome in cell or tissues. It is the development of proteomic techniques. The proteins analysis divided into fast non-SSU diagnostic tool for the patients with various diseases. You can see the, uh, the advent of highly sensitive proteomic technologies can be identify the protein associated with the development of disease well before they clinical identify the alterations. Mass has the highly resolving powerful and identify protein with more accuracy. Then you can see the protein are basically four types one primary structure and secondary structure, tertiary structure and quaternary structure. You can see here this uh, of the this is the actual of the four levels of protein structures. You can see primary, secondary and tertiary and quaternary structures how it looks like the four levels of protein structures. Then after experimental how the protein isolate from that uh, source and then after what is the procedure you can see the flow chart paper uh, proper uh, sample selection and sample storage then after we will move for the sample pre processing then after immuno deflations of protein concentration then after protein separation by the SDS page or 2D gel electrodes then after the fractions of by LC and the in gel tripit the digestions and in soluble of digestion then after protein identification by the LCMS then after protein identification and the spaced are the MOSET then after bioinformatic tools this is actual the flow chart and the protein what you discussed the previous uh, like slides you can five steps of protein analysis sample collection handling and storage and the, then after we will move on to that like uh, 2D electro forces and SDS force electrosynth methods this is the actual uh, methods uh, like uh, sample collection then after sample preparation then after move on to that healthy EMS like then after we will move on to that uh, mass spectroscopy and UV then after mass data analysis result concentration versus time of hours how it will be looks like and then after 2d gel electrophosis one of the nice uh, techniques for the analysis of protein and you can move off to the SDS page gel how it looks like and the image then after basic steps for these mass and the protein uh, how to study then of the protein identification of peptide mass fingerprint region then after the bottom approach and the top down approach this is the techniques for specially like uh, protein biomolecules. Then after you can say MOLD is one of the very sensitive techniques especially for the identification of protein and you can see application in food, environmental application, forensic science also. And this is are the some uh, techniques green protein and this is the spectrum and you can see biochemical applications of this detection of glycation. This is a mass some of the example bioanalysis of biopharmaceutical LCMS how it is useful and you can see the proteins briefly separation techniques and this small d and this is that uh, how the protein concentration this is the few techniques for the 
uh, analysis of uh, biopharmaceutical studies and uh, like and this is the how harmful